Libby. You are my friend. You are my friend. My partner in crime. My partner in crime. My love. My love. My lover. My lover. My everything. My everything. I promise to love you. I promise to love you. Honor you. Honor you. Help you. Help you. Take rip your bombs with you. Take rip your bombs with you. <laughs> and share the rest of my life with you. And share the rest of my life with you. And only you until the end of my days. And only you until the end of my days. Oh my. Wow. Libby, my Libby, and she's exactly what I pictured. She's energetic, funny, beautiful, and today of all days, she's a very happy child. <laughs> wow. Wow. I love it. You look so good, Libby. <laughs> I would say to Kayla, we need to find him a girlfriend right now. Fast forward a few months and da -da 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 -da, a love story to rival Shakespeare himself. I am lucky to call both Libby and Andrew good friends of mine, and I am in the unique position of probably being the only Schwalbach here who has not known Libby for most of her life. Um, in fact, I met these two around the same time. Um, I've been fortunate enough to see them not only grow as people, but to see their relationship grow and blossom into a thing of beauty. And I know the kindness, love, and respect that they have for one another has already paved the way for their marriage be an incredibly happy one. Marriage is a promise, a potential made in the hearts of two people who love each other and takes a lifetime to fulfill. Andrew. Andrew. You are my friend. You are my friend. My partner in crime. My partner in crime. My love. My love. My lover. My lover. My everything. My everything. Andrew is a gentleman and dedicated to what he finds joy in and where he defines his challenges. Be it his work, his schooling, learning about fishing, cooking, or just being ironic about light beer. He strives to be the best at what he does. I promise to love you. I promise to love you. Honor you. Honor you. Help you. Help you. Take rip your bombs with you. Take rip your bombs with you. And share the rest of my life with you. And share the rest of my life with you. And only you and until the end of my days. And only you until the end of my days. I was so honored you chose me to stand by your side to marry the man of your dreams, Andrew. I'll never forget when Libby called and said she was going on a date with this guy and that set her up with. And I told her, I said, you better share your location just in case. <laughs> but then she calls and she tells me, she said, Andrew took her to a picnic to the park and it was just amazing and it sounded like a fairy tale. And ever since that day, Andrew's been nothing but welcoming, kind, respectful sassy but we love him for it Libby please accept this ring please accept this ring as a token of my everlasting devotion as a token of my everlasting devotion to you and our wonderful life together to you and our wonderful life together with this ring with this ring I thee wed I thee wed and I'm proud to give myself to you fully and I'm proud to give myself to you fully please accept this ring please accept this ring as a token of my everlasting devotion to you. As a token of my everlasting devotion to you. And our wonderful life together. And our wonderful life together. With this ring, I be wed. I 
with you, Len. And I'm proud to give myself to you fully. And I'm proud to give myself to you fully. Libby and Andrew have built this love together, and I know they will keep adding exciting new bricks every day. And so, with the power vested in me by the Universal Life Church website and the great state of Wisconsin, I now pronounce you husband and wife, Andrew Humid is your bride.